Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys keeping me on my toes. <laughs> All right, history. Thank you. Uh, USVI may be a territory of the United States, but it has a culture all its own. Seven nations have flown their flags over these islands, making their own impact on its culture, architecture, cuisine, and traditions. But the Danish influence is the most prevalent. Visitors might notice that many locals speak in a distinct dialect due to the Danish, French, Spanish, and African influence. Many locals still have Danish names. You have guiding, guided walking tours in the largest historical town in the U.S., Charlotte, Amelie. Take visitors along the Danish... Sorry. Um... Take visitors along the Danish themed streets to such architectural landscapes or landmarks as Fort Christian. The oldest structure in the USVI, it has stood guard over the Charlotte Amelie Harbor for more than 300 years. Self guided 200 site St. Croix Heritage Trail explores Danish, French, Spanish, West Indian, and African influences. And clients can follow it up by car or by hiking part of it. Look for the signs. Sites along the trail include the restored 18th century estate Wim Museum, which includes a plantation, great house. Um, <clears throat> sorry, we have somebody coming in. Um, museum um, includes plantation, great house that is now a museum of Danish island history um, and Fort Christian Vern made with Danish yellow bricks between 1738 and 1749. Overlooking the Christiansted Harbor, the fort is now a museum that features the lifestyle of Danish troops and the conditions in which the criminals and rebellious slaves were imprisoned. Danish history on St. John can be discovered at the Annaberg Sugar Mill Ruins, which focuses on 18th century plantation life. Other historical cultural attractions. Again, you may want to save these. Uh, Port Udall, St. Croix. Easternmost point in the U U.S. is named after Stuart Udall, who was the U.S. Secretary of Interior under both John F. Kennedy and Lyndon Johnson. Just above the point is the Millennium Monument, a sundial. St. Thomas Synagogue, the second oldest synagogue with sand floors in the Western Hemisphere, is a national landmark completed in 1833 with the menorah dating back into the 11th, 11th century. Camille Pissarro uh, building St. Thomas, impressionist painter Pissarro, uh, lived from 1830 to 1903 and contributed to the Impressionist and post-Impressionism styles. Uh, he lived in St. Thomas until he was 12 and returned there in his later years. His birthplace is now an art gallery featuring his own work and artwork from dozens of other artists. His work is also on display at the Government House in Charlotte Amil, uh, Amelie. Festival fun. The USVI knows how to celebrate its cultures with festivals and um, special events held year round. Uh, the following are some of the biggest celebrations. Okay, keep that in mind. St. Thomas is host in Virgin in April um, to a month long celebration of carnival includes pageants, parades, music, and food festivals. The last week of April is when both the children's and adults parades are held. You have um, festivals early June through uh, 4th of July. Uh, annual festival focuses on St. John's cultural heritage. Featured events are pageants, music, concerts, sporting races, food fairs, uh, with a big splash ending on the 4th of July fireworks display. Crucian uh, Christmas Festival, St. Croix, December and January. The annual festival takes place on St. Croix where winter holidays are celebrated Crucian style with pageants, music, food, and dancing. Additionals can't miss um, events. St. Croix Agricultural Fair, Mango Melee, 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 Melee. <laughs> Jump Up, St. Croix Food and Wine Festival, Taste of St. Croix, St. Thomas International Regatta, King of the Wing, and St. Patrick's Day Parade. All right, what is the name of the major attraction that is the easternmost point in the USA? All right, so congratulations. Oops, didn't mean to click there. Okay, 
Next. All right, last one for this one is target markets. Who are you going to market to? So who is the U.S. Virgin Islands suitable for? Just about everyone. Who doesn't love pristine white beaches visiting the largest historical town in the U.S., Charlotte Am Amalie? Snorkeling, famed Trunk Bay, and making memories that last for a lifetime. Our incredible three islands each provide unique experiences to appeal to a variety of travelers. Below, we outline why the following target audience, no matter how discerning, will relish in a passport-free, unforgettable vacation to America's Caribbean. You have sailing and yachting. Uh, both beginning and seasoned sailors will find the USVI's pleasant year-round sailing conditions, conditions, warm and clear waters, trade winds make for an amazing sailing destination. Plenty to see and do, as well as vessels and charter companies to choose when your clients sail the short distance between islands. Visit vip, vipka.org for a complete list of certified uh, day and week-long week charter companies. How about diving? Your clients can take part in every type of dive possible. Dive alongside over 40 types of coral, hundreds of invertebrates. Uh, weave through an untouched shipwreck, immerse themselves in a world of leatherback sea turtles, spotted eagle rays, queen triggerfish, silvery horse-eyed jacks, creole wrasses, and more than 500 species of fish. Choose a wall dive, a wreck dive, or a reef dive. In the USBI, the options are endless for advanced divers and uh, um, underwater rookies. <clears throat> Our dive vessels and captains are U.S. Coast Guard certified, ensuring high boating safety standards. Learn more by downloading the dive guide in the resource centers. In addition to sailing, yachting, and diving, your clients will find almost any water sport imaginable, including fishing, wind sailing, kayaking, stand-up paddleboarding, kite surfing, wave running, and more. You have ecotourism and soft adventure. It seems like everyone is an adventure when they travel these days. Between 2009 and 2013, the adventure travel market grew at the incredible rate of 65% annually. According to the Adventure Travel Trade Association, ATTA, and the market is still growing, especially the soft adventure category. Considering the natural beauty range of the activities and climate, Ranked as the highest priorities in adventure travelers when selecting a destination, ATTA, the USVI checks all the uh, boxes. In addition to stunning, diverse natural landscapes and incredible weather all year round, there's no shortage of activities for your adventure seeking and ecotourist clients to discover. Okay, got that? Know your, know your clients. Among the most sought after experiences are glass bottom kayaking in St. Croix's bioluminous um, luminescent lagoons. <clears throat> One of the brightest in the world, kayaking St. Thomas Madgen's uh, Bay, hike, swim and snorkel in the national park, 3000 years of human history, biking, water island and much more. Romance, who wants to get married, okay? Wedding season is year round in USBI. Tying the knot in USVI is as stress-free as it is breathtaking with our simple marriage laws. Once your clients arrive on the islands, we have experienced wedding planners and specialists committed to every last detail of their wedding, reception, and honeymoon. With historic places of worship, century-old architecture, sprawling villas, and glorious palm-fringed beaches, our three islands are a welcoming paradise for couples from all walks of life. Download the Wedding and Honeymoon Guide of the Resource Center to learn more about our romance novels, our romance offerings. <laughs> Don't you love how my, my mind puts another word in there? Um, so again, guys, you want to be a wedding specialist? There's another guide for you to help you to sell weddings, okay? How about dining and shopping? Consider some of the best dining in the Caribbean. The USBI is a foodie's paradise. Your clients will have a fine cuisine that spans the globe from original Caribbean fusion dishes to French and Thai. Additionally, there are several food festivals across the islands, including St. Croix food and wine experience. Taste of St. Croix, Deco Pot Festival, and Dine Six. 
um, that showcase our gastronomic excellence. Um, no worries. Thank you. We do record this. All right, shopping. No visitor to the U.S. Virgin Islands can, returns home without indulging in a little shopping. Who can resist the Caribbean's best duty-free shopping with an allowance of $1,600? Double that of other uh, Caribbean islands. So U.S. residents, including children, can enjoy shopping experience without worrying about duty or taxes. Millennials, okay? A uh, few things that millennials crave on a vacation that localize authentic experiences. Let your under 40 clientele know that the USBI is nowhere near the fly and flop beach vacation. They might equate to Caribbean trips, a cultural melting pot backed by diverse and interesting history, a vibrant culinary scene and hard and soft adventures galore. The USBI is a free form exploratory paradise. <clears throat> Our destination sets the tone for a true discovery and only today, only the day's 24 hour limit will stop your clients from being lost like a local in some of the world's most famous, beautiful scenery, sorry. Uh, volun volunteerism. Don't just take a trip, take a volunteerism tourism vacation. Purpose in Paradise in a, is a comprehensive program that enhances the territory's a broad network of community-based philanthropic uh, sorry, activities and strengthens our ability to attract visitors in search of a purpose-driven travel opportunity. The initiative pairs uh, visitors who are interested in helping territories recover uh, efforts uh, with local nonprofit organizations in needs of assistance with special projects such as rebuilding a vegetable garden, coral restoration, helping to measure uh, seedings and mangroves or collaborating on student literacy. And then the program is built around three pillars to present a broad range of philanthropic sorry, opportunities for visitors in the U.S. Virgin Islands education, environment, and enterprise development. Ooh. All right, question, and then we're done with this one. All right, so we finished that one. Oh, we got the final exam now, okay? So you guys all ready for the final exam? Let's take it, and then we have two more classes, so let's get her done. Two. All right, so congratulations. That final exam took you into resources where you can find honeymoon um, guides, dive guides, visitor guides, download your certificate. Congratulations. And now we're gonna move on to our second course, uh, which we will do multi-gen travel. Okay, everybody got that? Go to courses and click on multi-gen travel. You know when everybody's ready, ready? Ready. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So this one is multi-gen ultimate family vacation. Uh, you're going to get a diploma and two CEU credits. Yeah, we're going to try to do all three. Usually we usually these run about two hours, sometimes three hours, sometimes 20 minutes. So you never know. So if you need to jump off, I understand. I do record them though, okay? All right, so the ultimate family vacation, nature's theme park, family-friendly U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, so welcome to uh, USVI multi-generational travel module. Multi-generational travel has been a top trend for nearly a decade, but planning a trip that meets the needs of two or more generations isn't at, um, any easier, okay? Uh, what once involved picking a sun drenched destination, a beachfront resort now looks like more like a destination wedding and honeymoon where multiple guests, accommodations, dining, entertainment needs are accounted for. Not to fret, though, uh, families still love the Caribbean. Travel advisors choose multi-gen travel and family travel as the top two opportunities for growth in the Caribbean in travel market reports 2018-2019. Outlook for the Caribbean report. 
So you won't have to reinvent the wheel. What we'll teach you in the next seven sessions is that in addition for stunning beaches and natural landscape, the U.S. Virgin Islands is one of the reasons why the Caribbean ranks so high among families and advisors alike. Why families love the Caribbean? It goes without saying the Caribbean is home to some of the most beautiful beaches of the world. While tourism to other beach escapes like Mexico and Hawaii has been on the decline, Caribbean has now set new travel records in 2018. As you can tell, this is an older course. Um, the region is by far the most popular for ship deployment, accounting for 34% of the cruise market, according to CLIA, CLIA, Cruise Line International, right? Here are just a few recent accolades that are a testament to the Caribbean standing as a beloved travel destination. TripAdvisor, World's Best Beaches in 2018 Travel Choice Awards, Caribbean and Florida state claims as the most decorated in the world and U.S. lists respectively. And based on a TripAdvisor price report, travelers can still find outstanding value on warm weather escapes to these popular beaches this year, said Brooke Forensic, Senior Director of Communication for TripAdvisor. Travel and Leisure 2018 World Best Awards, 25 resorts spanning 12 Caribbean countries made the list. So you have Caribbean versus Mexico versus Hawaii for multi-generational -gener travel. So again, you may want to take a picture of this. If somebody says, well, I'd like to go to Hawaii. Yeah, but well, look at the, what the Caribbean has to offer, right? So again, you know, you can maybe change their mind, give them a better deal. All right, so location in the Caribbean, they got direct flights up and down the East Coast, tons of cruise itineraries to choose from. Mexico does have direct flights down in um, the east and west coast, tons of cruise itineraries to choose from. And then Hawaii, six hour flight for Californians and longer for everyone else, limited cruise access. So not a lot to do with Hawaii, right? Um, weather, year round temperatures, 70 to 80s, peak hurricane season runs from August to November. Uh, for Mexico, you have temperatures vary depending on the region. June to October are the hottest and wettest months. Peak hurricane season is in September. And Hawaii, of course, the beautiful temperature range from high 70s to high 80s year round. Rainy months in the winter. Ease of travel. Okay, so yes, for the Caribbean, no passports are required, but required in many other Caribbean destinations. So the USBI no passport. Mexico, passport needed. Hawaii, no passport. <clears throat> Accommodations, diverse lodging, accommodating <clears throat> to all budget levels. Uh, diverse lodging, okay, accommodating to all budget levels. And then in Hawaii, very few all-inclusive, and they can be very expensive, okay? Keep that in mind. Attractions. There's an abundance of family-friendly attractions from beaches to water sports to natural preserves. Mexico, family-friendly attractions range depending on the region. Some destinations are more couples or single focus. And then Hawaii, family-friendly attractions range depending on the region. Some destinations are more couple or single focused. So why choose USVI? The USVI Virgin Islands um, enjoys a long-standing reputation as one of the Caribbean's most family-friendly destinations, boasting a combination of easy and affordable access, extraordinary natural beauty, accommodations that range from eco-tent camps to beachfront luxury resorts. Few destinations offer more diverse or engaging combination of recreational and educational activities for traveling families, uh, where else can children delight in petting sharks, exploring ancient pet petroglyphs, or playing pirates in the 17th century fortress? Um, from guided hikes, kayaking tours that inspire a deep appreciation for nature to adrenaline pumping um, underwater discoveries, the island of St. Croix, St. Thomas, and St. Jo John offer dozens of appealing attractions to captive children and adults, okay? All right, so fill in the blank. All right, Generations on the Move. <clears throat> Game of Seller's Edge, insights into the multi-generational travelers. 
In lesson one, you learned why the Caribbean and SUVI are so popular among families, but did you know that by 2014, 40% of leisure travelers had taken at least one multi-generational trip, MMYG Global and Preferred Hotel Group? The renewed interest in family time is unsurprisingly since um, unsurprising since digital devices. Dual incomes, distance have all contributed to families spending less quality time together. However, besides family time, what are other motivations and preferences driving the multi-gen travel trend? In this lesson, we'll provide key insights into vacation planning priorities, influences, as well as travel advisor demands to help accelerate the USBI sales cycle. All right, so vacation planning, the length of the booking window. 2018 national study by Expedia and the Center for Generational Kinetics found that the long weekend is the most preferred trip length among millennials, Gen Z and Gen X travelers. Baby boomers are more likely to travel for a week or even longer. In terms of booking windows, boomers are also more likely to book trips in advance often months prior to departure, while younger generations are apt to book less than 30 days out, guys, so you can get in there and start booking these trips, right? Surprise millennials, many of whom are now over the age of 35 with families of their own, 83% of new mothers are millennials, um, according to Forbes, <laughs> are driving multi-generational travel, according to separate studies from MMGY Global and Embassy Suites. Destination preferences, despite a growing interest in city culture trips, beach vacation are still the most sought after vacation among um, families, regardless of the age of the children. Further, the Caribbean was the leading destination among multi-generational travelers. And then you have preferred vacation type of the age by age group, okay? So number of categories represent, okay? So you guys can take a picture of that and look through that, <clears throat> okay, ages. Um, why choose USVI? You can check off several preferred vacation types, beach, adventure, cruise, international, volunteer, even camping on just one trip. Uh, motivation, inspiration, and influencers. Considering that multi-gen travel is prompted by families wanting to spend more time together, it's no wonder that children play on um, an outsized role in vacation planning. Happy uh, wife, kids, happy life. <laughs> so happy wife, happy life, happy kids, happy life. Teens especially influence household spending with 66% dictating travel planning according to data from the National Retail Federation and IBM. Although travel agents scored low on the inspirational scale in the last section, you'll see how you play a big role when it comes to bookings. So again, influence factors, okay? Planning the daily activities we do, 77% plan with children. Deciding which destinations, hotels and resorts, okay? Um, factors influencing accommodation choices. So you have the best value, free Wi-Fi. So these are just percentages. Again, I don't know if this will be on a test. Probably not, but good information. <clears throat> uh, okay, why not? Why choose USVI? Unlike some Caribbean destinations, USVI offers a wide variety of family-friendly accommodations across the three islands, with many of the hotels reopened after the storm and new hotels opening soon. Changing factors of influence. The majority of survey respondents noted that family travel preferences don't change drastically as children age. However, it is important to note that the mitigating factors that do influence travel preference in the below ta table, travelers were asked to agree or disagree with the following statements of comparing their travel focus today versus three years ago. All right, so selecting family travel options, strongly agree, somewhat disagree, okay, strongly agree. So again, you can take a picture of that. Uh, USVI ranked among the top 10 safest uh, countries for U.S. travelers, according to 2019 data from Berkshire Hathaway Travel Protection. Working with travel advisors, that's us, right? 
Why we'd love to show you data to indicate the most multi-generational travelers work with travel advisors, that marker has yet to materialize. The good news is that multi-gen travelers use your services much more than any other leisure travelers. And according to a preferred hotel group survey, 38% of respondents use the services of a traditional travel agent to plan a multi-generational vacation and 41% plan to do so during the next two years. Perhaps surprisingly, millennials um, were most likely to use a travel advisor when planning booking a multi-generational trip and have the highest intention of doing so again during the next two years. So reasons why a multi-generational travelers use a travel advisors access to better rates and prices, in-depth understanding of the destination, why I was interested in. They can best deliver the vacation experience you're looking for. Uh, something goes wrong, you've got your travel agent there to help you, right? Gets to know me and my preferences and can tailor recommendations. Travel agents minimize the risk of disappointment of vacation and so on. Again, remember we're researchers and you have the 70 years of Archer Travels backing, okay? <clears throat> uh, travelers that didn't use travel advisors. I can find the information I need online, okay, 50%. I enjoy the process of researching, planning, and booking a family vacation. I trust myself more to find the right travel options for my family. It would add to the cost of the vacation. We tend to go to places we know very well. I think the cost of using a travel agent would not pay back in terms of assistance received. I don't know how travel agents work. So again, we got to get the word out, guys. People have misconceptions of um, what we do. How about the opportunity? Go ahead and target the 43% of multi-gen travelers who enjoy the researching planning process. These prospects can plan to their heart's content, but you can give them an honest take on how their choices hold up to the marketing review type and ensure that all their vacation needs are met. Further, not only did a large number of respondents complain that advertised rates from travel companies were misleading and were often frustrated by add-on fees and surcharges, but the next table got, um, points to growing demand for clear and quicker avenues to trip satisfaction, which is your specialty, of course. How um, can the travel industry better serve families? We've got more deals and discounts for families. Uh, would be very helpful, would be somewhat and no difference, okay? Uh, clear pricing and so on. So again, take a screenshot if you'd like to know more about that. All right, true or false, you too. All right, so now three times the fun. So fun for all ages found on three unique islands. In the last two lessons, you learned that USVI makes uh, sense for multi-generational travel. Not only do multi-gen travelers want to explore the Caribbean on a multi-faceted uh, beach vacation, but our passport-free proposition, renowned safety and nonstop service from top get getaway U.S. cities make visiting our islands a breeze. In this lesson, we'll look at the top uh, friendly, family-friendly attractions across all three islands so you can deliver what multi-gen travelers want most from their advisors. In-depth understanding of the destination of vacation type. And there is a dedicated lesson on family approved accommodations up next. St. Thomas, whether making memories of the world's, um, at the world's prettiest beaches, rediscovering history at museums, uh, forts, historic houses, churches, cathedrals, admiring stunning panoramic views at every angle, enjoying the best duty-free shopping in the Caribbean, St. Thomas and 32 square miles of endless fun. You have animal encounters in addition to snorkeling and scuba, a cross between snorkeling and diving uh, directly from the beaches or by boat. Families can interact with the variety of marine, marine life and more. So you have the Coral World Ocean Park. Again, maybe take up screen print. Uh, Cor Coral World has been a favorite among visitors and residents. Park goers can swim with sea lions and dolphins. Sea trek along the ocean floor, encounter turtles, sharks, and stingrays, feed lorikeets, and more. 
Other highlights include the undersea observation tower built 30 feet underwater and the Marine Gardens Gallery of 21 aquariums. How about bird watching? Your clients can participate in an Audubon Society sponsored bird watching tour to marvel at our over 160 residents um, and migra migratory, migratory bird species. <clears throat> Museums and tours. So you have Fort Christian constructed in 1680, National Historic Landmark, the oldest building in continuous use on St. Thomas. St. Thomas Food Tours, five-star TripAdvisor rated tour company with the goal to introduce visitors to the island's unique history and food. Uh, Virgin Island Eco Tours, kayak, hike, snorkel, the picturesque mangrove lagoon, wildlife sanctuary, and marine, marine preserve. Explore a deserted island mangrove forest and snorkel clear protected waters. Outdoor exploration, Mountaintop, located at the highest point in St. Thomas, Mountaintop affords visitors stunning panoramic views of Megan's uh, Bay and the British uh, Virgin Islands. St. Thomas Skyride, eight tower as ascent of Flag Hill, whisks visitors up to Paradise Point, 700 feet above the town of Charlotte, Amali, for some of the most dramatic views of the Caribbean. Fantasia Tropical uh, Botanical Garden. Over 15 years in the making, this lush garden features over 1,000 orchids, hundreds of uh, bromeliads, Helsionies, sorry again with mispronunciation, Heliconias, gingers, palms, and many other tropical vegetation. <clears throat> Water Island. A dish affectionately known as USVI's fourth island, the 491-acre islet is a mere 10-minute ferry ride away, rarely crowded and beset with remote beaches. And then, of course, the beaches and shopping, you have Belongo Beach, Brewers Bay, Cokie Point Beach, Hole Bay, Lindbergh Bay, Linquist Beach, Megan's Bay, Sapphire Beach, and Secret Harbor Beach. Shopping, heaven, heaven. Haven Site Mall, Mountaintop, Crown Bay Center, Yacht Haven Ground, and Main Street. St. Croix, by the water or under the sea? Under the sea. There's a surprise around every reef, cove, and dune. In addition to the famed Captain Morgan Rum Distillery, Cruisin' Rum Distillery, live sunset jazz in Frederickstead, food and wine festivals, tidy pool hikes, and rainforest tours, here are some family to-dos. All right, so you have historical site, historic sites, okay? So you have the Family Museum, La Watts, <clears throat> 18th century estate house showcasing you antique furnishings, lush fertile gardens of the prominent Danish Crucian La Watts family. Point Udall, the easternmost point of the United States offering magnificent views, historic Frederick's uh, Stead walking tours. Uh, learn about the history of Frederickstead with its magnificent waterfront, Port Frederick, Victorian townhouses, and historic churches. Additional tours include the Alexander Hamilton's Christianstead Historical Walking Tour, uh, Ridge to Reef Farm Tour, and II Eco Hike Tours from Chant. How about beer drinking pigs at the Mount Pelier Hunt, Hut Domino Club? <laughs> okay. If you stop at the Domino Club, not only can you get yourself a cold beer, but you can buy a non-alcoholic round for the resident pigs. A state whim uh, plantation museum. History comes alive as you walk among the original early 18th century plantation building on the 12 acres. Um, Fort Christian Rearn, completed in 1749, Designated a National Historic Site in 1952, this former courthouse features an exhibit on local military history. Virgin Island Food Tours, okay? Visit vifoodtours.com to choose a variety of guided cultural and food tasting walking tours, including the Taste of Twin City Food Tour. <clears throat> Outdoor Exploration. One, um, this is Buck Island, one of only three underwater mu national muse monuments in the United States. Buck Island's underwater trails make it a popular destination for snorkelers and a must do for every visitor. St. George's Village Botanical Gardens. 
Though it's garden and collections, it is a center of education for better understanding, not only um, of the island's botanical heritage, but also the horticultural potential for contemporary gardening in the Virgin Islands. <clears throat> uh, bioluminous bays, okay? These are pretty cool. I did this in Jamaica. Saltwater Bay National Park and e Ecological Preserve and Altona Lagoon allows visitors to witness nature's nightly living lights caused by high concentration of bioluminous microorganisms called dinoflagellates. It's uh, where the, you know, you move and, and the water sparkles like in blue. It's really cool. Um, beaches. St. Croix is home to 34 stunning beaches. Learn more about each beach at uh, visit sbi.com, St. Troy, uh, Troy Attractions. Then you have St. John, incredible tranquility, carefully preserved natural beauty. St. John is truly one of the most unforgettable places your clients will ever visit. Uh, these countless ways to explore the island by sea, paddle boarding, kite, kite boarding, snorkeling, kayaking, sailing, and more. Um, or by land, private island tours, hiking, biking, and horseback riding. Plus, here are some must-see sites, must sites for families. Historic sites, so you have Annaberg Sugar Plantation Ruins, part of the island's national park. Visitors can travel back in time to 1780, meander among the ruins of the old windmill or catch a cultural demonstration. Bars and live music, expect low-key open-air bars, friendly faces, live music. Cruise Bay is famed for its live music scene and a relaxing atmosphere. Beckons you to sit, enjoy a drink, and watch the sunset. Shopping, popular shopping areas at St. John include the unique shops of Mongoose Junction and Wharfside Village, as well as Coral Bay's quaint shops that feature handmade jewelry, silk screen fabrics, and art. And then outdoor exploration, Virgin Islands National Park, covering most of St. John at 7,000 plus acres, the major landmark features breathtaking beaches, tropical forests, relics from the island's history. Uh, within its borders lie protected bays of crystal uh, blue green waters teeming with uh, coral, <coughs> sorry, reef life, white sandy beaches shaded by sea grape trees, coconut palms, and tropical forests, all providing habitat for over 800 species of plants. And then Rift Bay uh, Trail and Pet Petroglyphs, uh, most popular trek in the National Park begin at Centerline Road, descends 937 feet through a shady forest. While hiking, you encounter the visible remains of four sugar estates and ancient petroglyph rock carvings. And then the beaches, um, Francis Bay, Honeymoon Beach, uh, Lenister Bay, Salt Pond Bay, Hawksness Beach, Jumbie Bay, Maha Bay, Cinna Cinnamon Bay, and Trunk Bay. Boy, lots of lots of those available, right? All right, test question: On which of the three islands can your client something? Pretty interesting. Lots of things to do, huh? Oh, good, good, good. Okay, accommodations preview. Okay, so. I am recording, right? Yes. Okay. Anywhere your clients stay, they're sure to experience. <laughs> Good, Jason. I'm glad. Um, anywhere your clients stay, they're sure to experience the serenity and vibrancy of USBI. Our islands offer an abundance of family friendly, world class hotels and resorts, charming bed and breakfast, stylish villas, boutique hotels. There's no shortage of hotels that check off all the boxes that family travelers prioritize when choosing their accommodations as discussed in lesson three. Best value, free Wi-Fi, kids programming, uh, proximity to attractions, activities, breakfast included, and flexible sleeping arrangements. Below is a curated list of the best multi-gen appropriate hotels across USBI, but first a little bit about the hotel scene on each island. <clears throat> So you have St. Thomas, known for sophisticated ambiance, superb dining, spectacular nightlife. Hotels in St. Thomas run the gamut from resort estates and small boutique hotels to inns and B&Bs to private villas. 
St. John. Hotels in St. John specialize in blending into the existing natural environment of unspoiled landscapes, scenic views, and crystal clear waters. Your clients can choose from a variety of accommodations, including hotels, small inns, and villas. And then St. Croix is famed for some of the finest boutique hotels in the Caribbean, usually have fewer than 200 um, rooms. From historic inns to the beachfront cottages, St. Croix spe specializes in unique vacation experiences, unrivaled service, and Caribbean charm. <clears throat> okay, so the beachfront, you have St. Croix. So these are hotels that you can you know, recommend to your client. Um, cottages by the sea spread across almost two acres of beachfront property. The 27 cottage property features homespun charm, no resort fees, and free Wi-Fi, bikes, and kayaks. Sandcastle on the beach nestled among the, the palms along a pristine stretch of sugar white sandy beaches, boutique hotel, or the best kept secret in St. Croix that sits close to Frederick Stead's dining scene. You have the palms at Pelican Cove perched at the ocean. The palms at Pel Pelican Cove offers 40 beachfront guest rooms, each with its own balcony in one of two freestanding buildings designed with your comfort and privacy in mind. <clears throat> St. Thomas, Belongo Bay Beach Resort, an all-inclusive property that is opposite um, the opposite of large impersonal hotels. There are no elevators, marble or chandeliers, but your clients can expect comfortable and spacious rooms. Secret Harbor Beach Resort, boutique condominium resort on the quiet east end of St. Thomas featuring beachfront hillside villa accommodations and two beachfront restaurants. And then other options include Emerald Bay Beach Resort, El Elshion um, Beach Resort, Ritz Carlton, St. Thomas, Marriott's Frenchman Cove, and Sapphire Beach Condominium Resort. Okay, how about boutique styles? So you have St. Croix, the Fred, bold colors combined with whimsical features, chic furniture, modern comforts to create a sublime sensor sensory habitat as any put forth by any hotel that's um, ever opened in um, its doors in St. Croix. Uncommon <clears throat> Caribbean. Company House Hotel, newly renovated boutique hotel in the heart of historic Christianstead. Other options, Club Comanche, um, the Hotel and Hotel Caravel, currently closed for renovations, but again, this was in 2018, so it's probably open now. All right. Um, sorry, the wind keeps blowing my hair and tickling my nose. <laughs> St. Thomas, Mapley Hotel and Restaurant, 866 feet above sea level. The views are breathtaking. And almost any angle of the property, each room offers a queen um, or king bed, private balconies, additional futons in the mini suites and harbor views. <clears throat> Windward Passage Hotel and Casino, century located just steps away from the renowned duty-free shops, popular restaurants, entertainment, and nightlife. At home in the tropics b, &B a four-room historic bed and breakfast in the heart of Charlotte Amelie. Family-focused, okay? You want to focus on families. Here it is. The Buccaneer Hotel, founded in 17th century and family fun for generations, family run for generations, St. Croix Buccaneer is the Caribbean's longest running resort. Each room features a private patio or balcony for maximum enjoyment of the spectacular views and cooling breezes. Sugar Beach Condo Resort, condominium resort where all your tasteful furnished and fully equipped units overlook a sandy beach stunning Caribbean waters, and even a coral reef. All rooms feature central AC, private balconies, and fully equipped kitchens. Diva Carina Bay, all-inclusive beach resort and casino reopening in January 2020. This is the only, only all-inclusive on St. Croix. That's the DV, Diva, Diva, Diva. <clears throat> St. Thomas, Point Pleasant Resort, 59 room, newly renovated, ocean view rooms and villas, three swimming pools, two restaurants, all close, famed, uh, close to the famed Cokie Point Beach. You have Margaritaville Vacation Club by Wyndham, 
Located on Water Bay, this beachside location is nestled in a cove fringed by waving palm trees. Uh, three bedroom suites are available and each room features fully equipped kitchens and an outdoor seating area. Ritz Carlton St. Thomas reopening December 2019, tucked away on the eastern tip of the island. The Ritz Carlton St. Thomas is a beachfront retreat that feels like a private paradise for families, couples alike. Other options, Marriott's Frenchman's Cove set to open in summer of 2020. St. John Gallo Point Resort offering sweeping panoramic views, stunning sunset from its private oceanfront location on a lushly landscaped five acre peninsula that is a five minute stroll from Cruise Bay. Budget friendly, okay? See, so you can fit anybody in here, guys. Um, Holger Dons. Donske Hotel, situated on the boardwalk overlooking the harbor in the heart of Christiansted, with a freshwater pool featuring direct views of the beautiful Caribbean Ocean. Club Comanche Hotel, significant landscape along the popular Christiansted Harbor boardwalk. The hotel offers 20 rooms and suites and endless authentic charm. Kings Alley Hotel, fresh off the multi-million dollar renovation and amenity, um, a renovation that's this 21 room, three story gem is nestled in the heart of the Christiansted, um, in Christ, of Christiansted. <clears throat> St. Thomas Sapphire Beach Condo Resort. Located with the comforts and amenities, this condo resort is situated on the white sands of Sapphire Beach. Emerald Beach Resort, a 100% beach friend resort that features lush tropical gardens and rooms with ocean views. And then other budget-friendly hotels include Point Pleasant Resort, Company House Hotel, and Hotel Caravel, currently closed for renovations. Reopening in 2020, Frenchman's um, Reef and Morning Star Marriott Beach Resort in St. Thomas, and then Renaissance St. Croix Cam uh, Carambola Beach Resort and Spa, Divas Carina Bay Resort uh, Casino in St. Croix. All right, which of the following properties are reopening in 2020? And attention, right? <clears throat> all right, activities, calendars, what are they going to do there? So putting it all together, now that you've had a comprehensive overview of the attractions and accommodations across USVI, it's time to put it all together. Below, we created some sample itineraries that you can customize and share with your clients to let them know what awaits them in the Americas Caribbean. Your clients can set their own pace and still immerse themselves in our unique and diverse culture. All right. Oh, very nice. Um, all right, St. Thomas. So first day, travel day, land at Cyril E. King International Airport, pick up the rental car, take a taxi to the hotel or take a taxi to the hotel, enjoy the hotel for the evening and then head out for a meal, find a complete list of dining on St. Thomas at visitusvi.com, St. Thomas Dining. If your clients arrive in the morning, early afternoon, they will still have time to hit the beach close to their hotel. Day two, Coral World, Megan's Bay, or Port Beach, uh, and Charlotte Amelie. So after breakfast, the whole family visits Coral World Ocean Park. Once they're done with close-up animal encounters, head to Megan's Bay, or for a less crowded low-key beach, Cokie Point Bay, which is close to Coral World. After pack day in the sun, your clients may want to uh, eat close uh, to their hotel if they're up for it, and the night, um, end the night with fine dining and leisurely shopping um, in Charlotte Amelie. <clears throat> and then day three, head to St. John or St. Croix. Choose one of the day itineraries from each destination. As a reminder from previous lessons, St. John is a short 15 minute ferry right away and St. Croix requires a 20 minute flight on a seaplane via Seaborne Airlines. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, so day four, uh, uh, Charlotte, Amelie, Mountaintop and Skyride to Paradise Point. So head to historic town of Charlotte, Amelie and take part in a walking or food tour. Must see sites, Fort Christian, Blackbeard's Castle, 99 Steps, and St. Thomas Synagogue. Enjoy some duty-free shopping and the best in the Caribbean on Main Street. Take the St. Thomas Sky Ride to catch the sunset and dinner at Paradise Point or head over to the Water Islands 
ferry to Water Island, uh, the ferry to Water Island, 10 minutes and eat and five dollars $5 each way. Once <clears throat> there, you can rent bicycles and bike ride around this, the island, spending relaxing time at the beach where there are beach bars to serve you while you relax. Now you're going to head back to St. John or St. Croix. Choose one of the day itineraries from these destinations. Choose your own adventure. No shortage of activities on St. Thomas. Mix or match a perfect day in paradise. Among the recommended activities are Fantasia Tropical Botanical Garden, Full Day Island Tour, Water Island Ecotourism Tour with Virgin Islands Eco Tours, and a visit of any of the many stunning beaches. St. Thomas is world renowned for day and sail trips and sunset cruises. You can sail to one of the uninhabited islands and go snorkeling or swim ashore to a beach and have your own private beach experience for the day. <clears throat> and then St. John, land at Cyril King International Airport, take a taxi or ferry to St. John. Visitors can hire a private driver or enjoy a private water taxi to transport them to and from the ferry dock. <clears throat> Check into the hotel, grab a meal. A complete list of dining choices is here under this site. Virgin Island, day two, you're going to go to Virgin Islands National Park and Beach. Although visitors are literally surrounded by the national park, spend the day taking part in the endless activities. Visit Cruise Bay Visitor Center to inquire about the many hiking trails, Cinnamon Bay, Honeymoon Beach, and more. After day of hiking, relax at St. John's White Sand Beaches. Number day three, Annaberg Sugar Plantation uh, Ruins is a must-see for local history and views. Uh, Truck Bay is the island's most popular beach known for snorkeling and underwater trail of reefs. Visit Cruise Bay for the lively music and international dining scene. Day four, take a trip to St. Thomas or St. Croix. <clears throat> choose from one of the day itineraries. And then the fifth day, choose a trip between St. Thomas and St. Croix. Again, choose the itinerary. And then choose your own adventure. Your clients hasn't gone shopping yet. They should visit Mongoose Junction, Worthside Village, and Coral Bay shops. They can also take part in a boat um, or tour uh, snorkel at the Watermelon K and many more beach water activities like kayaking and paddleboarding. Nature's ultimate paradise is theirs to explore. All right. <clears throat> uh, St. Croix travel day. Land at St. Croix's Henry Olson International Airport or Cyril King International Airport where they'll take a taxi to catch the ferry to St. Croix. If flying directly to St. Croix, hit one of the island's 34 beaches after you check into the hotel. If taken the seaplane from St. Thomas, check into the hotel and then go for a meal. A complete list of dining options is here. That, that uh, right there. All right, day two, Buck Island, Point Udall, and Christiansted. Take a full day or half day out to Buck Island for some serious water activities, snorkeling, parasailing, you name it. Buck Island is a truly high point for majority of visitors. Name uh, by John F. Kennedy, the underwater U.S. National Monument is a sight to behold with its ultra soft white sand beaches, uh, crystal clear waters and extraordinary snorkeling along the reef. Before heading to Christiansted for some casual or fine dining and multural, major cultural attractions, check out Point Udall for breathtaking panoramic views. Point Udall, is the easternmost point of the United States. Okay, remember that. And U.S. travelers who visit during the holiday season can experience the first New Year's in the United States as we are on Atlantic Standard Time. All right, Frederick's uh, Stead, Mount Pillar, Hunt, Domino Club, and Salt River Bay National Historical Park. <clears throat> There's a lot to see in Frederickstead. Must-see sites include Wind Plantation Museum, Fort Frederick Museum, St. George Village Botanical Gardens. Feed the beer drinking pigs at Mount Pelier Hut Domino Club before heading for some nighttime via luminous uh, lucent uh, kayaking at Salt River Bay National Historical Park. If the schedule is too packed, you can save Salt River Bay National um, Historical Park for another day, okay? All right, golf, culinary tour, and rum and beer tour. Choose from the two world 
class championship golf courses, uh, the 18th hole Buccaneer uh, golf course and the par 72 uh, Carombola uh, golf course, both with sweeping ocean views and fun for all skill levels. Even kids can take part in a family-friendly rum or beer tour at the Captain Morgan's Visitor Center. A Leatherback Brewing Company and Crusen Rum Distillery, you can find one of the most vibrant culinary scenes in the Caribbean on St. Croix. In addition to food and wine festivals, there's a variety of food tours, distilleries, and breweries, farm stands, and of course, a range of restaurants. Eat like a local at La Rhine um, Chicken Shack or uh, any of the countless eateries in Christianstad. All right, day trip to St. Thomas and St. John. Choose from one of the itineraries. Choose from your own adventure. Time flies when you're having fun. Sorry. Let your clients know that they can spend the final days on St. Croix on the beach, visiting museums in Frederickstead, like Lawrence uh, Family Museum, shopping, sightseeing in Christianstad, and enjoying family time at the USVI's largest and easygoing island. Um, events calendar, USVI is famed for its festivals. There is something for everyone in the family. Check out the Vista USVI.com complete list of events and mark these on your calendar. St. Croix, jump up. Friday's in Christian set. Sunset Jazz, Taste of St. Croix, St. Croix Agricultural and Food Fair, February, St. Patrick's Day Parade, March, St. Croix Food and Wine Experience, April, Mango Melee, July. And Crucian, Crucian Christmas Carnival, December through January. <clears throat> St. Thomas Carnival in April. And then St. John Festival, June through July 4th. Woo. All right. Groups. You guys want to start booking groups? This is where the money's at, guys. Okay. <clears throat> you can make the booking. We'll do the rest. In addition to the skip gen or the three generation trip, more families are headed abroad for their reunions, destination weddings, and celebration trips. In that case, the standard booking won't apply. You'll need to account for every um, thing from a hotel and airfare group rate, meal planning, and most importantly, multifaceted uh, activities that will appeal to the numerous ages at once. <clears throat> when you book a group, a uh, trip to USVI, all the moving parts of a group travel work seamlessly. Our hotels are used to accommodating big groups. Our restaurants are varied and our beaches, activities and attractions are plentiful. Below are other top picks for tried and tested group activities designed to simultaneously appeal to both children and adults. So you have the half day, full day snorkel tours. Um, USVI is world famous for snorkeling, our clear, warm Caribbean waters filled with colorful reefs, exotic fish, sea turtles, and other amazing sea life. Numerous beaches where you can snorkel unattended, including Maho uh, Bay, Buck Island, Waterland, Mun, Kay, Koki Point Beach, uh, Leinster Bay, and Francis Bay. Blah. All right. However, half day or full day snorkel trips are ideal for groups since the excursion includes equipment, meals, breakfast, and lunch, um, an open bar designated snorkel stop, sometimes off the beaten path, and the bonus of a sailboat to take passengers to each spot. Sounds like a lot of fun, right? Recommended providers. So for a list of recommended tour companies, of course, go here. You can also go on buy a tour and other ones, right? Um, <clears throat> oh, so at water activities, so join those, St. John, St. Thomas, and uh, St. Croix. Half-day, full-day sailing trips, similar to half-day snorkel trips, sailing trips provide everything you need to enjoy one of the favorite pastimes in USVI, sailing our beautiful calm waters with friends and family. What's great about a sailing trip um, is that most boats accommodate six or more passengers, perfect for groups. And the equipment, meals, and activities are included. For instance, in addition to gourmet meals, an all-inclusive bar, and a guided snorkel tour, Sweet Pea Catamaran Charters provide showers, two large trampolines, and water gear like paddle boards. So sounds exciting, right? 
Recommended providers, again, talk the tour companies for St. Thomas, St. Croix, and St. John. Uh, rainforest tours. USVI is famed for its beaches and tropical rainforests are also a sight to behold. In addition to the hiking trails through the rainforest in Virgin Islands uh, National Park, there is the rainforest in St. Croix and St. Thomas. Uh, rainforest leads up to St. Peter Mountain. Among the tour op options are guided tours on horseback or on TV from an open air safari, safari bus on foot hiking and even a zip line tour. These tours are both educational and exhilarating and ideal for families with other children. Mm -hmm. And then again, recommended providers again, St. Croix, St. John, St. Thomas. How about kayaking? Swim, run, walk, or dance throughout the USBI, but one of the best ways for groups is to experience a bird sanctuary in St. Thomas, bioluminescent bays in St. Croix, or one of St. John's secluded beaches is via guided kayak tour. The tour ranges from a couple of hours to full day tours and includes everything from lunch to snorkeling um, to hiking. Historical walking tours. What's the most popular activity of the family reunions? Cultural activities and tours. See the sale insights box below. Kids would probably beg to differ. It's the beach, but today's parents want their kids to learn about the local culture and history while vacationing. The kids will mind one of the many historical walking tours available <clears throat> across the three islands. There's Alexander Hamilton's Christiansted Walking Tour, Historic Frederickstead Walking Tour in St. Croix, and St. Thomas Historic Walking Tour, Charlotte Amelie. Plus many more educational tours that allow participants to see beyond the USVI sparkling beauty and revel in its riveting past. And then walking food tours, okay? Oops, pass. Uh, sorry, even more culture for even cultural immersion. Encourage curious clients to visit the Botanical Gardens, Fantasia Tropical Botanical Garden, St. George Villa Village Botanical Garden, and Ancient Ruins, uh, Catherine Berg Sugar Mill Ruins, um, Anna Berg Sugar Mill Ruins, Virgin Islands National Park, etc. scattered throughout the islands. <clears throat> And almost done, guys. Walking tours since the USBI boasts a vibrant, varied culinary culture. A walking food tour is a must for groups easily found on St. Thomas and St. Croix. The walking tours are often part of food tasting and part cultural immersion tours. For instance, St. Croix Virgin Island food tours includes guided walking tour of downtown Christiansted, a crucian uh Food experience with six exclusive tastings and lessons on the island's seven flag colonial history and Danish architectural influence. Additionally, there are bus tours and private tours, as well as food and rum, rum combo tours. And then for a bonus, foodie families are encouraged to plan their trip around one of the USVI's culinary events. Check our events calendar at this site for a complete list. So sale insights, over 50% of families hold reunions, have them every year, okay? So you got to take a look at this, 63%, okay? Most popular activities for family reunions, awards, recognitions, area attractions, et cetera. <clears throat> All right, your clients partake in a guided tour on heart horseback. Oops, sorry. Thank you very much. All right, last one, and then we have one more to do, guys. So wrap up, it's time to target the 50-person multi-generational family booking. Congratulations, you bolstered your standing as a U.S. Virgin Island specialist. You are ready to sell multi more multi-generational travel. <laughs> On behalf of the commissioner, Joseph Bouchelet, and the entire team at the Department of Tourism, we remain committed to investing in educating and supporting our invaluable travel professional partners. And we look forward to making you and your clients feel at home on the islands. You should feel confident in letting families know about the unique experiences found on each of the three islands. If they're looking for authentic Caribbean culture and history, they'll enjoy exploring St. Croix, St. John with the massive Virgin Islands National Park is the perfect place for an outdoor escape. 
And Cosmopolitan St. Thomas offers top-notch shopping, dining, and nightlife experiences. Please contact Kay Milner Kitchens, Director of Sales at here. Anything else we can do to assist you in selling the USBI to a 50-person family reunion, six-person skip gen tradition uh, trip, or anything in between. <clears throat> Feel free to continue your learning Visit the Resource Center, our module on romance travel, as well as following up on social media. We continually work with suppliers to enhance our tourism offerings, provide the best travel experience, not only in the Caribbean, but across the world. Our training and loyalty program is the best resource to stay up to date on USBI products, promotional offers, rewards, travel news, and more. All right, so exclusive. All right, so fill in the blanks. <clears throat> course. Um, if you guys want to stay on board, we're going to finish the romance. Um, if you need to go, I understand. Um, again, you have the dive guide, the visitor guide, sales tools, videos, and your diploma. So you've earned two diplomas so far, guys. All right. So congratulations. And let's go ahead and finish this up. So you guys will be a U.S. Virgin Islands specialist. This is now romance, okay? Ultimate Island Wedding Honeymoon. U.S. Virgin Islands is the number one international location for destination weddings and honeymoons. Welcome to the U.S. Virgin Islands Romance Travel Module, probably aware that 16 billion destination wedding industry is only getting bigger, okay? <clears throat> Did you know that an estimated 25% of U.S. couples choose a destination wedding? 40% are international. How about the fact that the USBI is the number one international location for destination weddings among Americans? All great news if you specialize in destination weddings to USBI, which you will after this course. While US couples set the bar for go big but, um, betrothals, your role as the ultimate travel wedding planner is more important than ever since DWHers rarely want do-it-yourself celebrations. However, with the engaged wanting more engaging celebrations, um, island hopping anyone, and OTAs offering destination wedding and honeymoon packages, a basic all-inclusive group booking won't fly. Uh, thank you, B B B Blanca. <clears throat> we'll go a deep dive in the modern day destination wedding and honeymoon market which now encompasses pre and post celebrations, um, early moons, sorry, baby moons and vow renewals. We cover everything from growth uh, segment baby moons to key client targets vow renewals, all with a focus on helping you sell more USBI destinations. That should be top of mind that moment <clears throat> a client says, I'm engaged, pregnant, celebrating an anniversary. So why choose USBI? Discover the beauty of all three islands, St. Croix, St. John, St. Thomas, whether in the search of a perfect spot to exchange vows or picturesque views for honeymoon bliss, each island offers unforgettable experiences that are as individual and romantic as your clients. They'll love the Caribbean charm and familiar feel of the U.S. Virgin Islands, which operates under U.S. laws, language, and currency. Why do U.S. couples <laughs> love getting married in USBI? Besides the amazing weather and beaches, tying knot in the U.S. Virgin Islands is as stress-free as it is breathtaking with our simple marriage laws and passport-free proposition. So no passport, no problem. Your clients don't have to leave anyone off their invite list. As long as their guest is a U.S. citizen, then they can visit the USBI without a passport. No residency or waiting period requirement. So upon arrival, your clients can get married that day. Cruisers can even get married on the in the port, and your clients won't have to pay an extra fee to get married once again. They are back on the mainland since USBI marriage licenses are recognized in every U.S. jurisdiction. <clears throat> marriage application fees. Once the superior court receives a completed signed marriage application, recommended 14 days prior to prior to your client's arrival, your clients can pick up their marriage license at the courthouse. Valid government issued ID, proper attire required. The application and license fee is $200 and payable via certified check or money order. 
No, if either party is divorced, he or she must have a certified copy of the divorce decree or a notarized affidavit stating that the divorce was granted. Walk down the aisle of your choice, glide down an aisle of seashells, grace the teak uh, deck of a yacht, <clears throat> or stroll the historic path of sugar mill ruins. Visit botanical gardens, luxury resorts, natural vistas atop rolling green hilltops, even plump the depths of the Caribbean Sea for an underwater ceremony. Your client's wedding can take place just about anywhere their imagination takes them. Possibilities are as romantic and adventurous as you dare to suggest. Experience and professionalism. USVI hosts 5,000 destination weddings annually and every service from wedding planners to florists to caterers to photographers are available to help your clients plan a storybook wedding. And because the USBI is one of the most vibrant destinations in the Caribbean, there is so much more that awaits them after they proclaim their I do's. All statistics were surrounded by, or were sourced by Trip Savvy. Again, you know, it's an older version, but <clears throat> at least got that info. All right, good. All right, how about island hopping, okay? <clears throat> so island hopping, uh, honeymoons, big business, or big headaches. You may have heard that island hopping honeymoons are all the rage among the mega moon set. You might have been, might even planned a couple of these trending getaways yourself and can speak to their appeal, high budgets, and large groups. However, while these multi-generational, multi-destination, sometimes month-long sorors, soror sorry, are often lucrative due to the commissions outweigh the hassle. When the vacation includes stress fee free USBI, it does. <clears throat> How big are island hopping honeymoons? Before we get into the um before we get into the many reasons why island hopping honeymoons just USBI are worth your time, let's look at what's behind the need to sell trend. Back in 2016, a study from Western Hotels and Resorts found that the number of couples visiting multiple destinations for 10 days or less jumped from 35 to 70 in the past five years. That same year, the mega moon, which entails multiple destination countries and months, went mainstream. Of course, most couples don't have the time nor the bank account to traverse a continent for months on end. Thus, island hopping honeymoon, where you get married on one island and hop around for your honeymoon, was conceived by the almost masses. What's great about island hopping honeymoon is that it works for both budget busting and budget friendly couples alike, is doable in a short time frame, and when the right destination is chosen. Thank you, soiree. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> um, will feel as a multifaceted, um, as a um, mega moon. All right, so sales strategy. Who is Island Hopping Honeymoon for? Adventure seeking clients looking to maximize their vacation time. Couples where one wants to relax at the beach, the other prefers more active leisure time. Couples who can't decide on a destination. And then couples who are planning a honeymoon. Um, or buddy moon, so everyone can travel at their own pace. All right, USVI is a no-brainer for hon hon island hopping honeymoons. Um, island hopping honeymoons can probably solve quite a few of your clients' wedding planning arguments. And when you throw USVI into the mix, that island hopping booking becomes your e easiest DWH booking by far. Here's top three reasons you should pitch an island hopping honeymoon to the USVI. Three islands, one trip, no passport. Very easy, right? USVI is made up of three distinct islands, each perfectly suited for couples. St. Croix, white sand, beaches, beckon like hidden gems. Take a picture of these guys. European architecture lies around just about every turn of the quaint cobblestone streets and intimate bed and breakfast dot the coastline almost as um, often as picturesque windmills and historic sites do. St. John, the land of legendary beaches, world-class restaurants, gorgeous villas with unrivaled views of turquoise blue waters, 
Uh, nature reigns supreme here as two thirds of the island is preserved as a national park. And the island is famed for having some of the world's most pristine beaches like famed Trunk Bay. St. Thomas is the energetic and outgoing sister of the bunch while bustling shops, nightclubs, a uh, world-class golf and restaurant galore, as well as parasailing, deep, deep sea fishing and duty-free shopping all clustered around top rated beaches. <clears throat> you have time sensitive transportation, whether your clients have uh, five days or 15 to honeymoon, uh, the average length is eight days for US couples, okay, eight days. The USVI's proximity between islands allows visitors to see all three islands as well as the water island is let in as little as five days. There's also a minimum transportation involved in St. Croix or St. John situated only a 15 minute ferry ride or a 20 minute seaplane ride away from St. Thomas and St. Croix. Appeals to both adventure seekers and beach bound travelers. There are 87 beaches across USVI, including Megan's Beach or Megan's Bay on St. Thomas, Trunk Bay on St. John, both consistently rated two of the top 10 beaches in the world um, <clears throat> by Condé Nast. Uh, your clients can choose from beachfront hotels, B&Bs, condo stays to sunbathe or bask and rinse and repeat. More on accommodations in the next lesson. At the same time, adventure awaits your clients on our islands. Here's sampling of activities. Explore ancient ruins while hiking through lush rainforests. Be a part of Mother Nature's light show on a nighttime kayak ride through St. Croix's bioluminous bay. Snorkel, snuba, scuba, full day sailing, wind sail, kite sail, paddleboard, and practically every water sport imaginable. Enjoy picnicking on a private island after a thrilling helicopter ride, take part in the rum tasting and exotic food tasting, even feed neighborly pigs, charter a yacht and savor a sunset meal cooked by a private chef. <clears throat> Trend alert, luxury yacht charter, okay? Uh, did you know that USBI is home to the award-winning premier Marina Yacht Haven Grand, Grand the Furs Marina in uh, North America to receive the Gold Anchor Platinum level accreditation from the Yacht Harbor Association. If your clients are looking to take their island hopping honeymoon to the next level, suggest they hire a fully crewed luxury yacht charter available on either a catamaran, a sailboat, a powerboat yacht, and super yachts. The Virgin Islands are considered one of the finest sailing grounds in the world. They offer sunny weather, uh, dependable trade winds, beautiful scenery, protected anchorages, and short passages. Between islands, <clears throat> between islands, chartering a sailboat, catamaran, um, or yacht is unquestionably a fantastic way to explore the islands. Imagine your honeymoon cruising into quiet anchorages, uh, eating dinner, on the water at sunset or running down a sandy white bay and an unpopulated island. All right, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. All right, who are the island hopping honeymoons right here? Uh, uh, uh. Um, all, all of the above. above. All of the above. Just to above. Recording. Oh, Thank okay. You. Next lesson. All right, accommodations preview. Where are we gonna put these guys? <clears throat> Find your client's perfect backdrop. Once the destination has been chosen, the real work begins. As a travel professional, you know that if the hotel is wrong, it doesn't matter how nice the nearby beach or creative dining scene is. Let the bride and groom worry about the flowers and food while you focus on the accommodations. And if you're dealing with the USVI, you won't have to focus too hard. All three islands are beset with a variety of lodging options. Choose from stunning villas, privately owned great houses, quaint inns, charming B&Bs, a beachfront resort, and well-stocked condominiums, all prepared to help your clients treasure the moment. <clears throat> Many of the properties even have wedding and honeymoon packages and are equipped to handle groups. Uh, some of the unique wedding ceremonies on the islands include um, on a private island after a helicopter ride, on a yacht at sunset, inside an old sugar mill ruin, underwater vows, and as always on the beach. 
Below is a curated list of the most romantic hotels across USVI, as well as some of the wedding honeymoon packages. Additionally, download the USVI Romance Guide with the Resource Center for a comprehensive list of the wedding venues. So again, if you're looking at doing weddings, guys, there's a lot of these vendors that have specific wedding information, okay? <clears throat> so I'm gonna fall off my chair. All right, St. Croix, the Buccaneer, offers timeless romance of a setting sun over a gentle sea. Historic charm of a century-old sugar mill, the bliss of flowering garden, celebrate a memor memorable wedding for two or a wedding reception for up to 100 friends and family. Hotel offers five wedding packages starting as um, low as $9.99, as well as honeymoon and, ro and standard romance packages. Featuring, featured wedding package, <clears throat> hibiscus wedding package, $9,500 for a minimum of 20 people, extra guests, 195 adult, 50 for child, up to 11 years old, four to 11, okay? Uh, you get a choice of wedding location on um, at the 18th century Sugar Mill or Mer Mermaid Beach. Included services, you get a wedding coordinator, a ceremony officiant, professional photographer, music for wedding and reception, and florist for bridal bridal party bouquets. Uh, you reception inclusions, hors d'oeuvres, three-course meal, four-hour open, bar and toast, wow. Wedding cake, decor, and gratuities. Morning after breakfast for hotel wedding guests with mimosas and Bloody Marys. That's pretty nice, right? And the couple receives special amenities like room upgrades, engraved champagne floats, and bathrooms. Uh, the Fred Eco-Friendly Beachfront Boutique, Resort, and Spa, located in the historic town of Frederickstead, contact the property for information on their wedding honeymoon packages. <clears throat> St. John, you have Gallows Point Resort, the only resort in Cruz Bay. This private oceanfront resort offers sweeping panoramic views, stunning sunsets, Lush Landscapes, Five Acre Peninsula Resort offers two stunning wedding locations for the perfect island wedding, all with picturesque water views and gorgeous sunsets. Seashore Allure, combining the seclusion <clears throat> visitors desire in a vacation destination with proximity to all the major island attractions, this property offers guests the best of both worlds. With eight boutique style condominiums overlooking stunning waters, the resort provides a breathtaking view of paradise. <clears throat> Your clients can say I do and share their first kiss as a married couple on the private pebble beach with the setting sun in the backdrop. Then celebrate their blissful reunion uh, at the Blue Havana Pool and Tiki Bar. And then St. Thomas um, Marfoli Hotel and Restaurant, distinctive Caribbean gem since its founding in 1952. The resort sits 866 feet above sea level and features breathtaking views from almost any angle on the property. Experience an unrivaled combination of an authentic St. Thomas Hillside Resort, gourmet dining, boutique hotel services at remarkable affordable prices. Contact the property for more information on their wedding honeymoon packages. You have Secret Harbor Beach Resort. <clears throat> Boutique condo resort on the quiet east end of St. Thomas is ideal for couples, families, and destination weddings. Resort features beachfront and hillside villa accommodations, restaurant pool, swimming pool, or swimming beach, scuba diving, water sports, tennis, and more. Three wedding packages starting at $21.99, as well as standard romance packages are available. A lot cheaper than that other one, huh? All right, featured wedding package. You get the um, beach wedding in paradise for 25 guests, $4,700, 4800 Room upgrade for the couple. Um, included services, full coordination by Irie Matrimony Weddings, event, beach site, uh, fee, officiant, photographer, videographer, videographer, a ceremony musician, bridal hair and makeup, decoration, flowers, and cake for 25 guests and reception enhancements are available. <clears throat> All right, which um, of the following types of accommodations can your clients um, book on all three of these? All right, weddings and honeymoons. Capitalize on the year's biggest destination wedding honeymoon trends. 
You've already learned how easy it is to have a destination wedding in the USBI and why the islands are ideal for island hopping honeymoons. Over this course, the next three lessons will focus on three main stays um, of the romance travel niche and <clears throat> explain why the USBI is quickly becoming a major player in the burgeoning vow renewal and baby moon markets. Specialize in destination wedding honeymoon trends. Every wedding season ushers in new customer prospecting fodder in the form of trends since DWHers are usually the trendsetters of the getting hitched bunch. Here is a curated list of what this year's couples want on their far away fairy tale weddings as seen in travelagentcentral.com in early 2019 that you should leverage to generate destination wedding honeymoon and even pre and post bookings. So you have pre-wedding planning trips are on the rise. Couples take the time and spend the money to visit the destination and venue prior to the wedding date. They want to see and feel the overall venue experience so they can plan around it accordingly. Why USBI? There are tons of direct flights to USBI from major gateway cities, accommodations to suit all budgets and numerous activities and attractions so your clients won't be bored and returning to the destination before and during their destination wedding honeymoon. <clears throat> wedding guests are booking pre and post wedding stays because guests are traveling great distances to attend a wedding. They take advantage of the opportunity to build their own travel into the trip. Guests are tr uh, timing a cruise to coincide with the wedding or a scenic uh, road trip and <clears throat> in and around the wedding destination. Why USBI? This trend is a great opportunity for you to build your clients list, that looks like fun, right? And sales pipeline without waiting to ask for referrals post nuptials. Let your clients know that this is a trend and if they wouldn't mind, you're asking their invite list if anyone needs help extending their trip. You are a USBI pro after all. Fewer couples want pre-packaged anything. Even though a couple might go to a hotel and resort that specializes in destination weddings and offers wedding packages, most don't want a cookie cutter experience and tend to stay away from the hotel's wedding packages. They seek out preferred wedding planners at the destination to ensure a truly bespoke experience. <clears throat> Why USBI? No big deal. If your clients fall under the category, the USBI is teaming with seasoned um, co coordinators and vendors who specialize in destination weddings that are used to meet the diverse needs of out-of-town couples. You and your clients can rest assured that USBI professionals will make the planning process as seamless and as stateside affair. Destination bachelorette parties becoming more popular. Brides are taking long haul trips um, any chance they get, including uh, for their bachelorette parties. Activities typically include spas, wine tasting, even golf, as well as private sailing and snorkeling trips. Why USBI? If you haven't asked uh, about the bachelorette or bachelor parties, uh, you're most likely missing out of the business. If your clients were thinking of holding a destination wedding but decided not to, let them know that the USBI is still on the table for their bachelorette party and spas and wine are all on the menu. Social media status, millennials are the biggest group turning to Instagram for inspiration for their wedding and honeymoons often looking for a hotel or destination that will give them the most buzzworthy photo ops. We've told that clients um, are spending more time on photography and video videography throughout the wedding so that they can share their experience with their friends, family, both in attendance and elsewhere on social media. And then why USBI, our islands are the epitome of enchanting, unforgettable island life. There is no shortage of homegrown backgrounds from beaches to rainforest to blue waters to humble brag from. <laughs> Share any of the most uh, popular hashtags associated with our islands, USBI Virgin Islands, US do hashtags and tag them in it. Uh, clients let social media do the selling for you, okay? LGBTQ weddings, USBI can help you break into the LGBTQ travel uh, market since we're gladly welcome LGBTQ couples 
Getting married in the USVI is legal and easy. According to the Miami Herald, today St. Croix is considered the mecca of gay tourism in USVI, where gay guest houses like Sand Castle on the Beach can arrange anything from gay friendly uh, dive trip to a romantic honeymoon or wedding package. The Palms at Pelican Cove is another welcoming, gay friendly, family owned resort in Christiansted. All right, true or false, um, LG, it is legal for LGB2 to wed in the US, that is true. <clears throat> Hold on one sec. Hey there, I'm doing a training, can I call you back? Yeah, of course. All right, love you, okay. All right, vow renewals. All right, stress-free wedding really does exist. If done right, your destination wedding and honeymoon client should become the client for life. In addition to the one-year anniversary trip, remind yourself to follow up with clients in a couple of years about their vow renewals, which have become big business for the wedding industry. Uh, with people promoting a uh, bucket list and their activity on social media, I think vow renewals are only going to grow in popularity. Couples are trying to live their best life, celebrating the little things and keep their marriage relevant, said Jennifer Bo, board, a romance travel specialist to travelmarketreport.com in 2019. Tips for selling vow renewal trips, okay? Unlike destination wedding and honeymoons, vow renewal trips focus less on the couple and aim to incorporate uh, family and friends into the celebration, okay? A real question is how much less? Travel advisors should know the ins and outs before targeting this growing market. Here's some sale tips from the authors of a Complete Guide to the Vow Renewals, How to Create a Celebration of Marriage That You'll Love. Uh, drive awareness, convert <clears throat> anniversary trips into vow renewal celebrations for 20 guests or more. Suggest a vow renewal celebration since many clients might not think of the opportunity themselves and explain that the planning process is a lot less structured than a typical wedding. Why USBI? You've already learned how stress-free get getting married is in the USBI. In, in USVI is no passports required, same day wedding, no residency requirement. But vow renewals are even easier since your clients don't need an officiant or marriage license. Creativity is the key. Let clients know that there are no rules or legal requirements associated with holding a vow renewal ceremony so they can get creative in their planning and have their celebration reflect who they are as a couple now. One example, travel advisors might suggest that a couple theme a dinner party to the year they met or were married and display photo montages for each decade that they've been together. And then why USBI <clears throat> created uh, ceremonies around USBI from underwater vows to ancient ruins to botanical gardens. Your clients can realize their dreams without or with day long or week long celebrations that accommodate their whole families. For clients who gravitate toward localized traditions, let them know they can they bring home original keepsakes in the form of artisan jewelry and handmade dresses from many duty-free shops that dot the island. Create opportunity, plant the seed by promoting your services and highlight destinations and vow renewal packages on social media, email just as you would with destination wedding honeymoon promotions. USVI is stunningly beautiful and inspiring. So every time you see a celebration, so a celebrity recounting their vow renewals, let clients know that they can have a fabulous celebration of their own or repost content from the official USVI Instagram right here for an easy lead generation campaign, okay? We always get people asking for leads, there you go. You can also promote special packages like I still do vow renewal at the Buccaneer St. Croix. For $9.99, your clients will receive a room upgrade, airport transfer, welcome basket, personalized planning, ceremony at the 18th century sugar mill, or Whistle Beach, a photographer, and more. Vow renewal targets everyone <clears throat> from baby boomers to millennials throwing vow renewals so that the market is far and wide. What differentiates vow renewals, bookings from standard destination wedding honeymoons is often the sentiment behind the celebration. 
Some people want to celebrate a milestone anniversary, 10, 20, 30 years. Others want to involve the whole family, not just bystanders, but to pay homage to the entire family. Still others like Roxana and Bill Trinka told the New York Times that their vow renewal was not only a celebration of their 30th, um, 30 year marriage, but also Mrs. Tinka's being a 14 year uh, breast cancer survivor. So that's pretty cool. When you make your pitch, make sure it's meaningful because vow renewals go beyond the bride's desire for white gowns and sunset vows. Uh, they are true life event celebrations. At the same time, indulge the couple because many vow renewal functions at the substitute wedding that they didn't, um, the couple didn't have when they were younger. Okay. <clears throat> Which of the following reasons is why vow renewals are easier than weddings per lesson five? Uh, couples, parents, couples won't buy, clients don't need an officiant. There we go. Very good. Next lesson. All right. And the baby boom. All right. <clears throat> Two more guys. Make baby boom, baby moons part of your booming romance. What was that last answer? Um, it was uh, the uh, officiant. They don't need an officiant or marriage license. Oh, okay. All right. Um, baby moons. Yep. How many times have you attended a bridal shower, captured a bunch of contracts, and fell short on client prospecting? Uh, whether you were too busy with wave season or summer plan, travel planning started early, the bridal blitz you had planned didn't exactly pan out, and you ended up with fewer DWH bookings than you had hoped for. This is a common story among advisors trying to build their destination wedding honeymoon um, <clears throat> sorry, uh, business, which then becomes a running theme even after DWH booking. Destin destination wedding and honeymoon customers should become your clients for life. Long before the vow renewal vacation, many couples are splurging on baby moon or two. A study conducted by Liberty Travel and babycenter.com found six out of 10 parents to be on taking a baby moon. Kara Slater of Smart Flyer says the baby moons have managed to become as expected as bachelor parties, weddings, and honeymoons. Nine out of 10 clients will take a baby moon. <clears throat> what the trip looks like will vary from couple to couple, but no one is missing this event. That just doesn't happen since Slater to Travel Age West 2015. How many baby moons have you booked this year? If your answer is in the single digits, yet your DWH bookings are in the double or triple, you're leaving money on the table. Couples are a major source of residual Bookings, starting with the trifecta, wedding, honeymoon, baby moon, and vow renewals. Flag every couple between the ages of 25 and 45 for the trifecta. Follow them on social media. Let them know that when the time is right, you can help them plan their USBI baby moon to their exacting taste. <clears throat> baby moons mean easy bookings, okay? So unlike the more detailed DWH and vow renewal bookings, and especially the other moons, mega moons, mini moons, family moons, baby moons are a piece of whatever the pregnant lady wants. Kate, here's why. Baby moons usually only consist of two-person booking. Couples are looking to splurge since baby less vacations will soon be a thing of the past. Baby moons are relaxing affairs. Think beachfront escapes, delicious, healthy meals, and spa visits. Caribbean is a logical choice for baby mooning couples who may not want to stray too far from home under the circumstances. Although the second trimester is generally recommended as the best time for pregnant women to fly, be sure to ask if they prefer adults-only environment that's more like a second honeymoon or a family-friendly resort to get them acclimated to what lies ahead. Vacationing with the kids, travel agent central. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. For clients on a budget, let them know that they can combine an anniversary or birthday trip and a baby moon to USVI. So why choose USVI? If you'd rather steer clear of the more populated islands, US Virgin Islands are right for you. Choose from St. Croix, St. John, St. Thomas, or visit all three. You can even rent or hire a catamaran, spend your getaway sailing between the aisles. Regardless, you're sure to experience breathtaking views 
extravagant hotel stays and mouthwatering fine dining. Beach.com, who ranked USBI among the top islands in the Caribbean for baby moons in 2018. R&R &R all the way. Your clients can relax as much as or as little as they like on any of the three islands. There are so many relaxing and soft adventure activities suitable for couples and pregnant women. In addition to many beaches, there's a snorkeling sailboat charter, shopping, food, and cultural tours, and more. And then it's easy, passport-free travel to on-island transportation, private drivers, land and water taxes, ferries, and helicopters getting to and from and around the island is pregnancy approved. Prenatal paradise, an abundance of wellness activities like couples massaging beachside or in-room, facials or prenatal yoga available on property, as well as accommodations, um, choices to suit all needs, all the budgets. Which of the following relaxing activities can your clients enjoy during the baby moon? All of the above, that is correct. And last one, and then we have our test. So wrap up, <clears throat> Early, easily sell the romance travel trifecta, destination, wedding, honeymoons, baby moons, and vow renewals with the USVI. Congratulations, you are now ready to sell more romance. Travel to the U.S. Virgin Islands on behalf of the Commissioner Joseph Buschelt and the entire team of the Department of Tourism. We congratulate you on furthering your knowledge about all three of our beloved islands. We consistently rank among the top Caribbean destinations for romance travelers because visiting our islands is as hassle-free as it is unforgettable. The world's most breathtaking beaches and sunset stunning architecture, lush rainforest, extraordinary snorkeling and creative dining are just some of the ways to make your clients vacation dreams become reality. Additionally, we are the number one international destination for weddings among US travelers because we treat each of the 5,000 couples <laughs> who wed on our islands each. Um, year as first-time brides, time-honored grooms, and unique in every way. And so we're happy to help. Contact Kay Milner if there's anything we can do to assist you in the American Caribbean. Two couples planning a 100-person wedding or a 20-person vow renewal or a two-person baby moon. Um, and we hope you continue by learning the Resources Center and Multi-Generation Travel Module, as well as following up on social media. Our training and loyalty program is the best resource to stay up to date on USBI products, promotional offers, rewards, and travel news, and more. All right. <clears throat> How many couples wed on the island each year? 5,000. All right, guys, final test, and then you are good to go. <laughs> 